Okay, so it's a little bit of a video on my home solar energy system. Uh, kind of have this corner here dedicated to uh, alternative energies of various types. And the main thing here is actually up under the roof. It's a 130 watt uh, 12 volt solar panel. And that guy here uh, feeds down into this little uh, control cabinet here. And it charges up this uh, battery bank. That's comprised of two 150 amp hour AGM and one, I think it's 140 amp hour flooded um, lead acid batteries. And uh, the purpose of this, um, so it feeds 12 volts DC then you know, through this to this cable here and into the into the house, and uh, that runs 12 volt LED lighting inside the house for me. It's just a little experimental system, and so far it seems to be uh, it seems to be going very well indeed. Um, you know, runs a total of eight uh, three watt LED um, fifty mil down lighters, and um, only takes a very small amount of um, energy. And uh, the solar panel generally has this charged up um, during the summer time anyway by about ten or half ten a.m. So I'm going to be expanding the system. Uh, to incorporate this inverter charger that I have here. Uh, I got this, it was actually faulty. It was several of the H-Bridge uh, diodes blown. Um, or, sorry, some of the H-Bridge transistors were blown in it. And uh, I spent about 60 quid getting parts for it in a couple of days fixing it. And uh, this is actually the first uh, first pretty serious test that it's had. You see it's a 12 volt 2.5 kVA inverter. It's a 120 amp 12 volt uh, charger. And um, at the minute I have a charging this, this bank of uh, six forklift traction batteries. Um, this is six 2 volt cells um, that I got out of a scrap uh, forklift traction battery and uh, I managed to save seven cells from it that were still in or about two, uh, two, two volts each and I picked the six best out of that seven. Just came along here then this morning and drilled and tapped some um, eight <coughs> some eight mil holes in the, in the uh, terminal posts I've got this uh, six cells hooked up in series to give me a 12 volt pack here. I'm not sure what the capacity is. I'm guessing maybe three, four hundred amp hours. And uh, I've had them on charge here now for a couple of, of hours just to bring them back to life because the battery was in the forklift had been sitting for about six months or or so. So you can see at the minute here we're pulling just about just under 50. 50 amps and uh, about 14.9 volts there on a good ab ab absorption charge. Um, so additionally here I have a Hister LT1 single cylinder diesel engine um, and it's driving a 12 volt um, 80 amp automotive alternator in there that, uh, it's just a standard um, I think it's a Valio alternator and uh, this is my little kind of um, emergency gen set type of setup here and I've got a bigger uh, Ford 1800 diesel engine out of a car here that I do have a gen head to go on back of it here but I've never actually gotten to fit it so this will be, an, this is be another part of the plan um, so I've just actually just got the inverter charger powered up from just an extension cable here now just for the purposes of charging that forklift battery and uh, 
I'm hoping to integrate this into my solar system here for extra capacity. I'm going to bring this uh, inverter charger into the equation then and have it supply some 240 volts um, AC to the house for certain things. That's a pure sign inverter, so uh, pretty much anything can be powered up from that. So, I said I'm just giving these uh, cells a good hard charge today, there now, just to bring them back. And they seem to be coming back up. Got a hydrometer, just checking the specific gravity of the cells, and it's quite. Uh, it's coming up on each 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 uh, each cell, and uh, so I'm going to have to make a box then out of some plywood uh, for this pack because they have to be squeezed, otherwise they tend to fall apart. It's got a couple of cargo straps on that now, just for the purposes of testing it. I'm probably going to build build another one of these uh, kind of tray type setups here just uh, on the wall there for those cells and it's got a couple of simple controls on this and there's a, there's a battery monitoring system here you can see we're at 13.9 volts um, just 350, 350 um, amps there and uh, state of charge is 100% we're not drawing any power at the minute so um, it's got a voltmeter uh, that amp, amp meter there just tells us what the um, alternator would be putting out if it was actually on and there's a little cheap 1200 watt inverter in there but that's only a kind of a kind of a cheapy uh, square wave type so that'll be coming um, out of that, um, but I have the pure sign here, so I'll be getting shot of that and, and some kind of hookup done. So that's about it. Solar power system, cheap.